just left Kungälv. I slept at my friend's house in... To probably put this down. That's better. Where was I? Yeah, Kungälv, Thomas Norman. Thank you for housing me. I am on my way to Schön and... Uh, well, <laughs> I was a bit spontaneous. Whoa. I was a bit, a bit spontaneous last weekend after the Ironman. I was a bit inspired and I did a really good bike session on the Sunday after the race. So I decided to enter a half Ironman. So that's where I'm heading now. It's race day tomorrow. And yeah, thank you Sean Triathlon for being so, uh, so kind and letting me race even though it was short notice. Very good. And now I'm heading in back into Sean again to uh, I'm gonna try out the bike course and then also swim a bit, I think. And I'm sleeping there tonight, so I have easy access to the race tomorrow. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna expect, but I feel very confident. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all you need, confidence. And then uh, we'll see where I end up. Let's end that here now, and then uh, I'll see you out on the bike. That was that one hour done on the machine and I should also tell you the the trip is being done in the Ford S Max from Scubus in New Shopping and this one is also for sale so if you want it this is the number to call BAM look like a glove perfect let's go get coffee it's fun when you race with a time trial bike like ah. as an ITU athlete riding through town you don't get a lot, a lot of looks but Riding on this thing with the disc wheel and time trial helmet, people are staring, people are laughing, and people think you're there's something wrong up here with you. But it's fun. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't like a bit of uh, attention? I guess. Okay, coffee, lunch, uh, rest. Bye. Shana. Well, here's the apartment. Airbnb, I'm just gonna turn on the lights. I must say, this is, uh, oh, this is great. This is very, very nice and clean and everything. I'll show you. So coming in, here we have the shower, a toilet, and then to the master bedroom where I'm gonna sleep. And we were supposed to be two people. Johan Sarve, a good friend. He was gonna join me, but uh, driving down, he realized he thought it was next weekend. So I'm going solo tonight. And I'm taking the big bed, obviously. Couch, some windows, and then a small kitchen with the coffee and uh, a stove and sink and everything. So yeah, very happy with what I found, I think. And as I said, it's close to everything. So now I'm gonna organize a bit and then I'm gonna head to the swim. So I'll see you later. <laughs> swim was it's done now that was a very nice swim actually the water is very clear and the salt water makes it float a bit extra so good feeling in the water a few yellow fishes but uh, eh, they just sting a bit I guess just trying to stay positive and now it's just time to relax and try to prepare as good, as good as I can right now I'm on my way to the briefing usually I'm quite confident before briefings but now since I have no idea what I've gotten into I'm quite nervous actually and I don't really know where I should be and how it will work, but I'm sure we'll find out. This view stunning, cannot get it up. 
All right, let's try this again. I just recorded, you can see the time lapse here. But as you saw, I recorded all this and it was time lapse mode, so a bit frustrating, but here we go again. Okay, what I was doing is that I, well, since this is pretty new to me to race middle distance, I'm a rookie. I've raced it once before, four years ago. That went well, but it's a long time ago, so I barely remember how I did it, so. As a rookie, I was gonna try to just walk through my setup for tomorrow. People may be laughing because, as I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Or maybe you can learn something, I don't know. And then also a few thoughts at the end of the race tomorrow. But let's start off with the gear. We're starting with the swim, 1900 meters. And I will swim in my Orca Alpha wetsuit over there. It's still a bit wet from the swim, so I'm drying it over there. And goggles, I will wear these polarized ones, because uh, we're swimming quite early, so the sun will be low and we're swimming into the sun. And with the polarized glasses, it breaks the sun better, so hopefully I will be able to see all the boys. And then usually I decide to swim with uh, two swim caps for several reasons, but the main reason, reason is that if I only wear one, I for some reason lose it, because my head is a bit weird, I guess. And then also it fixates the goal is a bit better, so if we get a hit or something, it stays pretty stable there. So that's the swim, basically. Not too much to talk about. 1900 meters. The bike, though. There's a lot of things to talk about, and it's fun as well. But we can start with the smaller thing. These are the shoes I will be riding. And these are the shoes I always ride in. It doesn't matter if it's short distance, cycling or whatever, I wear these. And people wonder, but how do you get in them? Well, these ones are pretty nice actually, because I have the BOA closure system. And as you can see, they open up very wide, so I can just slip in my foot straight away. And have a very fast transition. And they, s they fit super well. With a triathlon shoe, I usually feel like I don't get that snug fit you want to, but with these one, there's no problem. And I modify them a bit, I don't know if it's focused or if you can see it, but I drilled a little hole here so I can fasten my my rubber band. So a pro tip or a tip in general, wear a pair of cycling shoes instead of tri shoes because they are much way more comfortable. If you can find one that you can get in easier of course. And then I have this uh, time trial helmet that I borrowed from Matthias. It's arrow. It's not super comfortable, but it's arrow and it's a lot, very arrow, so it's worth it, definitely. And then we have this guy here, the Orbea Ordu, the time trial bike. Um, get a nice carbon fiber handlebar in up front, and then I got the bottles in between my, my arms, so I'll be more aerodynamic. Second bottle behind here, and then also if I get a puncture, I keep all my spare inner tubes in here. And I'm riding electronical gears, so it'll take the TI2, and then also the aero bottle down here. If someone's interested, I'm riding 5311 here and 11 to 25 back here. Could probably ride a slightly bigger chainring, but I didn't really have access to that now. In the back here, obviously, a nice disc wheel that I borrowed from uh, Johan Lindebrink, as you saw him a few vlogs ago. And up front, I've decided to go with the slightly more shallow 50mm progress clincher wheel. So that's my. My bike choice here, I really like the look of it, it's hard not to. That's probably the most fun thing about going long and riding the time trial bike, the bike is so cool. And then on to the run. Since it's a half marathon, I will wearing, be wearing socks. And also, since it is a half marathon, I will wear my trainers. They're still pretty light. Um, I'm a bit sure on how I perform over such long distance. I probably could have worn my racers. But since they're pretty thin and I got a race next weekend, I decided to go with my trainers just to save the legs a bit. And to be honest, they're only 30 grams heavier than my, my racers. They're, these ones are about 230 grams, I think. So I don't lose too, lose too much. And it's the uh, New Balance Fresh Foam 3. Sante 3. I will rock the sweatband tomorrow. Try to look cool. Glasses. And yeah, of course, I almost forgot. I will race in my my normal tri suit with all the sponsors there, the Orca RS1 suit. Not ideal for middle distance maybe, but I'm sure we'll do the trick tomorrow. So yeah, that's a bit about the gear. And another thing that is also pretty different from uh, normal short distance racing is obviously the nutrition. 
racing a sprint or Olympic distance race, you just go out there with a bottle of water or a sports drink and a gel and you're good to go. It's a bit more to think of now when I'm gonna race up to four hours. So I have Umara, they're helping me with the nutrition and the, on the bike, I should try to, uh, or I'm gonna fill up these two with their sports drink. So two scoops of the sports drink and then I'm gonna chuck down one per hour. I'll probably ride just over two hours, so that will be enough. And then in the air bowl here, I will just have water, just to, since I'm only riding with a sports drink, I think it can be nice to just mix it up with some water as well. And that's basically all I will drink and eat during the ride. No gels. And then, heading out to the run, I'll take these guys. So we have caffeine and just normal gel. I'll take four. One every 15 minutes. Uh, so start up right when I get off the bike with a caffeine one. And then a normal one. Caffeine, normal. Hopefully that will be enough. And then I will take water in the aid stations. Maybe something else if I feel like I really need it. And since I only have this suit, I ain't got no pockets. That's probably the biggest weakness of these suits if I want to race it in middle distance. But I try to think a bit outside the box. And that's the fun thing about middle distance. You're allowed to do weird shit. So, on the back here of the gels, I've put on some uh, tape, with two-sided tape, do you call that? So I'll just take off the cover, and then put the gels on my leg here, in between the suit and my leg. Hopefully the tape will make them stick there. I haven't tried it before, but I think it will work. And yeah, that's all the gear for tomorrow. Hope I didn't forget anything, and hope uh, that you accept the way I'm racing. So let's talk a bit about the race then. I'm not too worried about the swim, to be honest. We have one guy here, Jesper Svensson, who is a very fast swimmer. The goal is just to try to stay on his feet. But with that said, I'm gonna try to be smart, so if I'm really suffering, I mean, it's a long day, I'll probably let him go and just try to find my own pace. And the same thing on the bike, if I'm up with him out of the water, I just wanna use him in the water to get away from everyone else. Because hmm. as soon as we get on the bike, I think he's gonna try to push quite hard hard, especially the first half of the bike. So yeah, if I go with him, I will probably blow up in the end. So I'm just gonna try to find a very nice, steady, hopefully high speed pace and just do my own race on the bike. In the end, I will win on just um, staying on my own numbers since it is 90K we're riding. On the run, I wanna try to be a bit more offensive and obviously depends on how the race uh, looks, where I am. I wanna, same, th same thing there, I wanna go out in a very comfortable comfortable pace and just find the rhythm because if I go out too hard they will not it will not be a fun 21k to run so probably the first three to five k just uh, find the rhythm and then after that start to chase or try to extend my lead or however I am and just really be offensive with uh, after 5k and then we'll see how far it lasts I have no idea to be honest I think I have a pretty good shot at the podium. I also think I have a shot at the win. It's gonna be tough though. I don't know, I don't feel any pressure at all. I mean, I entered this thing five days ago and it's a distance I'm, I never ever race ever, so no pressure. It's just gonna be pure fun, hopefully. And then we'll see how, how far it will take me. I hope you enjoy that. Lots of talking, but maybe some interesting things if you're a tech geek, I guess. Now I'm just gonna go head to bed and prepare the last things for tomorrow. Wish me good luck. Good night.